Hi everyone, it's Lindy on here from Pink Whisper Designs. Today we're going to make a quilted baby card and I'm going to show you how to make this little quilted background using some products from Lawn Fawn. So let's go ahead and get started. So for paper we're going to be using this pattern paper from the Gotta Have Gingham 6x6 Petite Paper Pack and I've selected one of each of the colors and I've also selected the ones that kind of go on an angle on the diagonal. And then from the Stitch Basket die set, we're going to grab that hexagon die, and then we're going to later on be using those other two dies to create a bow. So again, I'm going to die cut two of each of these from the pattern paper. And I've gone ahead and done that, and I ran those through my Sizzix Sidekick machine. Now I'm going to be using the Hickory Smoke Distress Oxide Ink to create a little shadow all the way around each of these little shapes. And when you butt them up against each other, that'll give just a little bit of a shadow between each of them. So you can see that up close. So I'm going to do that for all of my hexagons. Now with my Pit Artist Pen in the black, this is the 0.1 millimeter. So it's a very detailed tip. And it is a permanent black ink. I'm going to go ahead and create a faux stitching all the way around each of these. And this just takes a little bit of time, but it's really easy to do. I love doing this. This is one of my favorite things to do. And then when you're done doing that, just add a couple little hash marks on each side. And you can see those there. Now I have all of these done. So for stamps, I'm going to use that little tiny elephant there. And later on, we'll be using those stamps as well, sending a big congratulations. And these are from the Elfie Selfie stamp set. And then we're going to use that little butterfly from the Wild For You set and the coordinating dies. We're also going to be using the Strathmore Bristol Smooth 100 pound cardstock to do our stamping. I'm going to be using the We Are Memory Keepers Mini Precision Press to do my stamping. And I've gone ahead and used my VersaFine Onyx Black ink to ink this up. And this is a peg alignment system, so you just want to line up those pegs and press down. It's got like little spring-loaded feet on it, so when you press down, it drops the stamp down into place. And then I went ahead and stamped the rest of those butterflies as well. So to do my coloring, we're going to use light pink, light gray, and gray-brown. And these are the Zig Clean Color Real Brush Pens. And these are a water-based pen. And with that light pink, I'm going to add a little to the cheeks and a little up in the ear there. And then I'm going to take that lighter color gray and just go in a little bit into his body. And then that darker gray, I'm going to put up where I want to create some little shadows there. And then I'm just going to pull those together. I'm going to try to keep the, the center the lightest here. Now I am using a blender. The Zig Blender Pen to do all my blending, but you could use a water brush as well, whatever you prefer. And I'm just going to clean that blender brush off if it gets too much ink on it, or if it if I'm changing colors. You do want to scribble it on a scrap paper until it goes clear, and then you'll know that it's clean. When I get to the cheeks there, I'm just going to lightly blend that into that gray, just a little bit. And just going back and adding a little bit more pink up, up under the ear there, and then blending that into the gray. Now with bright yellow and pale yellow, I'm going to do this first butterfly. So I added the pale yellow, then a little bit of the bright yellow right along the, the center of the butterfly there. And then I'm just going to blend that into the edges. I'm going to do a second one in those same colors. And then I'm going to do a violet and lilac one. And I'm using the same technique for all of these. I just wanted to show you the colors I used. Just a little bit of that darker color in the center and pulling it out towards the edges. And then for the last one, I used light blue and cornflower blue. Now you could do these all the same color if you prefer. I was debating on this whether I should have done them all in the yellow, but 
I decided to mix it up a little bit here and you can see those up close. So now I'm taking the coordinating dies and I'm going to go ahead and tape those down with a little bit of purple tape and I'll be running those through my Sizzix Sidekick machine. And now you can see everything is stamped and die cut. So now I want to grab this sentiment that says, A New Baby to Love. And this is from the Rub-A-Dub-Dub -Dub Stamp and Die Set. And I'm going to stamp it in three sections here. So you could use your scissors and cut this stamp into three separate sections. But rather than cut this stamp, I thought I'd show you that you can also mask this off. So you can go ahead and just take some post-it tape and just cut some small sections of this. And I'm going to put the sticky part right over the rest of the words that I want to mask off. So the first part I'm going to stamp says a new. So I want to ink up that stamp with the post-it note in place, then remove the post-it note, do my stamping, lining it up, and then I'm going to clean off that stamp really well. Now I'm going to mask off the next part of the stamp. So I'm going to put post-it on either side and I'll be stamping the word baby. So always remember to remove that post-it tape before you do your stamping. And then I want to clean that off really well again and then I'm going to stamp I'm going to block off the rest of the words and stamp the words to love. So I have three little sections here, a new baby to love. You can see that up close there. So now with my Lawn Fawn Sticky Note cardstock in the 100 pound weight, I've gone ahead and cut this cardstock 4 inches by 10 and a half inches. And I'm going to be scoring it at 2 and 5 eighths. And then I'm going to just flip it over and I'm going to score it again at 2 and 5 eighths. Then I'm going to go ahead and fold this on those score lines and I'm going to press that out with my bone folder. And you can see those two will meet right in the center. Now to keep those flaps from popping up while we're doing our work, I'm going to use my Tombow mini glue tape and just tape those down temporarily. This will come off easily when we're done. Now this closed card will measure four inches by five and a quarter inches. And now I've got I went ahead and die cut two more of those hexagons in white 100 pound cardstock. And I'm going to glue those to the hexagon, the gray hexagon that has the sentiment on it. And that's just going to give this a little bit more stability because this is going to be kind of the flap of, a, of the front of our card. And it's also going to hold that bow. So I want to make sure that it's plenty strong enough. So now going back to my hickory smoke. Distress ink, I'm just going to add a little bit of ink right around those edges just to take that white away. So now I'm going to take all of my colors here and I'm going to separate, the, separate them. I want one of each color for the top of my card and one of each color for the bottom of my card as well. So I'm just separating these out quickly here. And then I'm going to start to lay those out on my card. So that first one is going to sit right down at the bottom of the card there, right in the center. And then for these two at the very bottom, I'm going to need to cut these. So if I cut them in half from point to point there, I can go ahead and those will fit right at the bottom here. And that leaves me two halves left over for another card if I wanted to use them. So now I'm going to glue that first one in place. And you do, I did use glue, so I have a little time to move these around if I need to. So that top edge, I want that point of the top edge to be right along the edge of the card there. And I want the flat edge of this piece to be along the bottom edge of the card. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. I'm just putting some glue for my glue tube on these. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I just want to, that, top, that top edge, that left point, to be along the left side of the card and the flat edge to be along the bottom of the card. 
Now that should allow this piece here to fit right in between those two. Now if it doesn't, you have a little time there with your glue to move those around just to make sure that it fits in place. And now I'm going to place that one right in here. So I'm going to let that dry and now I can go ahead and add the other pieces here and they will fit right into place just like a puzzle. And that one will end right at the, the bottom flap of our card. So right along that line that you see there, that's where these will end. So now I've got those in place, so I'm going to go ahead and flip this card over and just cut away that excess. Now I want to do the top half of the card. I'm going to temporarily tape this one down into place here, just temporarily, just to hold my place so I can line up the rest of these. Now I'm just going to select the color combinations here. So just lay them down and then move them around if you don't like where you have things. And once you get it the way you want it, you can go ahead and do the same thing we did before. We're just going to start gluing those down. Then I'm going to cut these top edge ones just from point to point there. And those are going to fit in the right and left corner of my card. So I'm going to go ahead and glue all these pieces into place. I'm going to do the same thing we did before. I'm removing that center hexagon for now, and then I'm going to cut away that excess. Now I'm going back to that hickory smoke and just adding a little bit of color right along the edges of the front flaps of the card. And not much, just kind of right along those edges. And that'll also hide if you have any extra of that yellow paper showing up towards the top like I do there. You can just finish that off with a little bit of that hickory smoke and it'll take away that yellow edge. So now I've got that all set. Now I want to go ahead and permanently attach this gray panel. But I want to make sure it's just attached to the top flap of my card. So I'm only going to put glue here on the top half of this hexagon. And then I'm going to go ahead and line that up and glue that in place. So now that that's all set, we can go on to our Pixie Dust cardstock. This is a sparkly, glittery cardstock to create our bow. We're going back to that same uh, stitch basket die set that we used before to do the hexagons. And we're going to tape this down with a little bit of purple tape and run this through the Sizzix Sidekick machine as well. Now I'm going to use my quarter inch double sided tape to attach this bow together. And with a pencil, I'm just going to round the uh, bow a little bit here. It just makes it easier to fold this in on itself so it won't crack or, or fold. It'll just keep a nice rounded edge. So I'm going to just put a little tape on the inside there. I'm removing the backing from the tape, and then I'm going to bring each side of the bow into the center and tape that down. Then I'm going to grab a little bit more tape and put it on either side of the center of the bow. You can also put it right down that flap that's going to go around as well. And I'm removing the backing from the tape and I'm just going to wrap that around and attach that together. Now once that's done, I can go ahead and put a little tape down here at the bottom, the little bow tie section of the bow. Remove the backing on that tape and attach these together. And you can see what a cute sparkly bow that makes. And that's going to sit right here in the center of our card. So we've got our little elephant as well. And I did want to grab these butterflies. I'm going to be putting one of the butterflies, the yellow one, right on his trunk. And I want to fold these. So the way I do it is I just grab my tweezers 
I put it right down the center of the butterfly and then I fold it up. So it's really easy to fold these quickly just to give them a little bit of dimension. And then I wanna make sure that my little elephant is over to the left just enough so that my butterfly will fit in there and it won't block the words that we've already stamped. So I'm just gonna kind of position that a little off to the left here. And then my bow will fit right there underneath that elephant. And I'm gonna line that up right along the bottom edge of the hexagon. And then I'm gonna attach that little butterfly right on the end of his trunk. And again, just make sure you move him around and move it around enough to make sure it's not blocking any of those words. Now I'm gonna grab the blue and the lavender butterflies and I'm just gonna glue those two to the front of my card. And then I'm saving that other yellow one for the inside of the card. It's gonna go between the sentiment that we're gonna be stamping. So we have one gray hexagon left over. So I've gone ahead and cut that in half. And that is gonna fit right on the inside of our card. So it's just to finish off the backside. And you can see that I dropped it there, but it doesn't matter. We're gonna be covering that section of the card. So thank goodness I was able to just wipe off that extra glue. And like I say, we'll be covering that. So that's gonna finish off this little top section of the flap here. You could leave it white, but I thought it would be cute to do that. Now I've cut a piece of that gingham gray cardstock from my petite paper pack at three and three quarters by five inches. And I'm going around the edges like we did before with the hexagons with a little bit of that hickory smoke ink. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do that stitching all the way around this panel, just like we did before. And then I'm just gonna add those little hash marks on the inside panel as well. And you can see that up close. Now, going back to the Elfie Selfie stamp set, we're gonna grab that sentiment for the inside of our card. It says, sending a big congratulations. So I've placed those on my We Are Memory Keepers mini stamp press here, and I'm gonna go ahead and ink those up. Again, I'm using the VersaFine Onyx Black ink, and I've separated them a little bit. I wanna make sure that I have enough room for the little butterfly that I'm gonna put in between those two sentiments. So we saved that little yellow butterfly for the center. So right now I just wanna make sure I get this attached in the center of the inside of my card. So I'm going back to my quarter inch double-sided tape. I'm gonna remove the backing from that tape and then I'm gonna center it on this panel. Now again, I'm gonna grab that little butterfly and I'm just gonna put it right in between those two sentiments. And that's just gonna add a little bit more fun, just a whimsical touch here for the center of our card. And then with my glitter pen from Lawn Fun, I'm gonna go ahead and add glitter to all of these butterflies. And you do wanna make sure it's clean before you go on because we are using a water-based uh, ink to do the coloring. You wanna make sure that you clean it off in between colors here. And just scribble it on your scrap paper until it goes clear. So now we have one leftover little piece of that gray hexagon, and that's for the outside of our card. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue that one in place. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit more ink to that edge just to finish that off. And here you can see our completed card with that cute little quilt plat pattern that we have created. And again, you could use that quilt pattern for anything. I just think it's fun to do. I love doing the stitching. And there you can see the inside of the card and how we finished off that little tab on the inside. 
So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe. And don't forget to visit me at pinkwhisperdesigns.com. Thank you so much. Stay safe and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.